Hey guys, Pro here, and welcome to another video. Today I'll teach you guys how to get a new password if you lost your password in Windows 7. So you first, you, you get on your uh, account and you type your web password. You hit enter. And it welcomes and it says, your password or your username is not uh, right or something. Because my version is Dutch, so I can translate it right now. So you think, damn, my, I lost my password. So you try to do anything and there is like... Um, recover your password and you click on it and it says wizard and you click next and then you need a reboot or something a drive so you don't have that and you don't want to spend too much time on downloading and stuff so you don't do that I've got a solution for you guys you just first quit off your, com quit your computer yes I want to quit and you wait Oh, it's gonna update, so I'm just gonna quit and um, wait. It. This is so I'm just gonna pause it. So when your computer is turned off, you wanna turn it on again. Pressing the M button, and you wait until the screen says "Welcome" and then the logo. Um, yeah, you see there, and enter. Press press F2 to enter setup and do that. It could be a uh, shortcut. Um, I, I think it depends on whatever it is. Um, so this you don't you won't see this, but I'm gonna just type my 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 um, password in. But uh, this is what we're gonna talk about later in the video. First, you need to type it in, and now you see this the BIOS, and then you go to security, and you'll see that this user set user password is locked. It's great. You can't do that yet. So I tried, like, what, what happens if I press set supervisor password? I, cl I clicked on it, and I, ha I had two things. Confer um, enter current password wasn't there yet because I didn't have one. So I typed in a new password. Let's do that. Current password. You don't want to know that, and you're probably never going to know as well. And then you type enter, and then you'll see th this is what you see, um, you use to see set new password and confirm it so I'll just type in YouTube oh wait up YouTube down YouTube and I press enter and I type YouTube again and I press enter again and then it says changes has been saved you click enter and then set user password is gone um, blue so then you can press it and press enter and then um, you all, as well, just as before, you don't see this, but you'll see only the two um, boxes below. So I'll press in my current password, and I'll press my new password, which is going to be YouTube again, and YouTube again, and press enter, change has been saved. Now we're going to quit, so pre by pressing F10, and I'll say yes. And then it waits, gonna reboot and just wait until it's started up. It's my Acer, I know my one is so bad that I don't even wanna share my system specs with you. So, um, you probably don't have this because I'm having like uh, something that made it like this, but it works fine, so I don't matter. Yeah, I just need, a, need patience. No boot. This, this, this is all usually it's all all normal. So don't worry about this. There we are, starting up Windows. Might want to take a little time. Seem to the fact it's a super slow Intel Pentium inside processor. It's gonna take a while, an hour or two maybe. <laughs> and then this is just some some hard drive control something. Uh, I just aborted it because it takes a lot of time. And then you see this uh, startup screen. So you just type in your, your your password. So I'm gonna type in YouTube and press enter. Oh wait, I just just did it. YouTube. YouTube. It probably didn't save yet, so I'm just gonna type in my old password. But this works always. And you see the welcome screen, and it's gonna load your background. So I thank you for watching and subscribe, like, and comment, and like, yeah, of course.